What is that? Baby, this is live television. You can't take that out. <laughs> Good morning. It's about 8 a.m. Starting the day here. Uh, about to get hydrated with some agua and then about to move my body. Watermelon. Stretch right here, super good for your anterior tibs. If you're someone who jumps rope a lot, sit on your anterior tib, which is a muscle opposite of your calf muscle. Put some pressure on that for about 30 seconds. You'll feel it start to stretch out. Release a lot of tension, helps prevent shin splints and other issues that come up when you jump rope. talk about meditation practice. I've known about meditation since I was about mm, 16, 17 years old. That's when I got into it. That's when I started practicing it consistently. And I think it's the most beneficial thing that you can apply to your life because really what meditation allows you to do is get back into the present moment. We all know that life doesn't happen in the past. Life doesn't happen in the future. Life happens right here in this present moment. But that being said, meditation doesn't have to look like this. Meditation can be you going outside and jumping rope for an hour or 10 minutes or five minutes. All meditation is, is just getting back to the present moment and just living in every single breath. The goal of meditation is to get back to the present moment and start living in the now. So any way you can do that is awesome. Apply it to your life. I'm gonna go up on my roof pretty soon, go play in the pool, Sunday fun day, baby. So I wanted to do a little physique check-in. You guys saw me a couple days ago eating uh, a burger and fries, a protein shake, and quesadilla as my day's food. And then I had a bunch of gummy worms on top of that. And that day, I was over my calories. So what I had to do yesterday is I had to eat in a calorie deficit. And that's really the goal, guys, is to stay consistent for the long term. So if you have a day where you're eating too much, dip it down, get in a calorie deficit, and even that stuff out. Nutrition, diet, fitness doesn't happen in one day. I want you to think about fitness in one week snapshots. And so just try to level everything out over, over a week. So one night you go out partying, if you drink a ton of alcohol or a bunch of food, you binge, just know the next day, take your fast later in the day, eat a little bit less and balance it out. What's up fam? So just finishing out my jump rope workout here and it got me thinking. We feel like we're building this movement through Zen Fitness with you guys. Like it's a co-creation process. And so that's why we read every email, that's why we respond to every email, that's why we read every YouTube comment, respond to it. Basically if you hit us up, we hit you back because we feel like we're creating this together. And the email that I received this morning kind of disturbed me a little bit. It was someone who used to live in Medellin who was really upset about the episode yesterday. He saw marijuana use and it brought up a lot of emotional scars here because as you may know, about 20 years ago, you know, Medellin was a really tough place to live. There was a lot of crime, there was a lot of murder, there was a lot of scary stuff going on here. He felt that what we were doing was harmful to our lives and probably harmful to other people who are watching us. The moral of the story, guys, is never just assume that because you grew up believing something, whether it was your family that told you or community or the news station you listened to, always question everything, do your own research, understand what's real, okay? Because I believe there are truths in the world and those truths are only gonna be discovered through your own personal research and experimentation. Don't just assume that what someone tells you is true. This is the whole thing around Zendu fitness philosophy, you know? It's about going out there and finding what's true for you. What's real, what truth is there for you to discover? I'm gonna go play in the pool now. <laughs> what are you reading there? <laughs> ah, Wayne Dyer. <laughs> Thank you.
We just got done with the pool, showered up. He's here, she's here. We're gonna go eat and hit the park. Does that look familiar? It looks like Chipotle, right? But it's not Chipotle, it's Taco House. Some dude here in Colombia ripped the branding, basically everything about Chipotle. Brilliant idea, because now we get this, which is gonna be so, so that basically just a breedable bowl, uh, meat, beans, rice, lettuce, uh, avocado. Now we're gonna go eat. All right, we got to Parque Explora. About to go do some exploring. Giddy up. Oh, he's fleshy. He's real. Oh my God. Feels really rubbery. Ah, lo siento. Suave. Muy suave. What are we about to do, man? So we're about to pedal and spin around and try to shoot in these baskets. That guy is in a lot of trouble. Get him! What's the number one rule when you're out playing and having fun? Stay hydrated. You guys saw me work out earlier today. Now we're about to go record the workout for this evening. But we wanted to make sure you guys had a workout that you could do when you're watching this vlog, because it's Monday. People like to work out on Monday. So we're gonna get that workout for you and then call it a night.